All right. Well, good morning, everyone. Again, this is Carrie calling from the Traverse City office. Welcome to Moxie Monday. It is Monday, March 1st, believe it or not. Spring is hopefully right around the corner. Uh, we will be talking about our brand new Refresh Campaigns dashboard. Uh, if you've been in to Moxie Engage uh, since late Friday, you've noticed that the dashboard has been updated. And we're very excited about the update because it really is meant for ease of use for the agent. So we're very hopeful that this is a better product. I mean, it was already a great product don't get me wrong, uh, but they have uh, enhanced it. And also not just for the functionality, but also for the speed. So if you've been in the campaigns dashboard lately, you probably have noticed it runs pretty slow. And so from everything that we've seen with the new uh, dashboard, it does run a lot quicker, which is great for everybody, right? <laughs> Nobody wants to sit there and watch it spin. So we're gonna go ahead and just jump in. Uh, if you have any questions, just feel free to type them in the chat box or go ahead and unmute and let me know what I can do to help answer those questions. So you are seeing Moxie, um, just your account. As soon as you log into Moxie, that is what you're going to see. So what we are talking about today is our campaigns, which is a portion of our Moxie Engage, which is our CRM, our Client Relationship Management Tool. Really is meant to help the agent stay in communication with their sphere of influence or anybody that they've decided to put into their Moxie Engage. So again, this is our dashboard uh, for Moxie Engage. This is really meant to be your personal assistant. It really helps you stay in flow. As you can see right here, just call five people a day, right? Consider how much business you would get if you just called five people a day. And once you have your Moxie Engage set up with your sphere, it gives you those people to call. It doesn't get much easier than that. But what we're gonna talk about today is our campaigns. These are our drip campaigns, which allows the agents to do a set it and forget it. So they're able to set up their clientele on either a holiday drip campaign, a seasonal maintenance drip campaign, uh, perhaps they just transacted with a buyer. They can set them up on a buyer drip campaign, ask for referrals, ask how it's going, all that great information that instead of having to draft an email every single time you want to connect with a sphere of influence person, you set them up on the campaign, let the system go to work for you. So that is right here in campaigns. So we launch straight up into Moxie Engage, which lands us on our Engage dashboard. But we wanna go over to campaigns to talk about our campaigns dashboard. So again, we have our dashboard and you can go into your people. You have your calendar, which is linked through to your Gmail calendar. We've talked about goals in the past. And then what we're talking about right here is campaigns. So again, Moxie Engage, campaigns. And did you see how fast that loaded? I'm so excited about this. Last week when we were in our old dashboard, it was a sit and spin and you had to be patient and I'm not patient. So for me, it was brutal. So a lot faster right now is um, how this dashboard is loading. So we're very excited about that. So this is the new look. If you remember from before, there wasn't near as much content down below. We had just these kind of same categories, but they were listed to the left. You kind of had to click, click through to see any of the content that you wanted to see. So this is just a much better snapshot for the agents to view what campaigns they currently have set up or how to set up a new campaign pretty quickly. So from here, you can see I'm in all campaigns. You also have a waiting setup, running, paused, and archived. And one of the new features here with the new dashboard is we're actually able to delete a campaign now. Prior to the new dashboard, we were never able to delete. We were always only able to archive. So it never really ever went away. It kind of just hung out there in our archive file. Now, once you archive it, you can actually delete it if you choose to. So if you go into your archives spot right here, click that, you can see this is the one that I had archived. You can quickly get to a preview if you want to right from here, which is a new feature as well. And it lists out the first three emails and lets you log launch into all of the emails if you choose to. Once you click on the actual campaign itself, this is gonna take just a minute to load because it's loading a lot more content, which is why the preview sections that we have now are much better because it doesn't launch you into the full campaign, so it's a lot faster to see what you need to see. 
So right here is our new option. So I was in archives. Uh, this was a test campaign I had ran. This is one of our great recruiting campaigns for our managers. And I want to delete that. So now I'm actually able to do so. So from the archive bucket, I can go ahead and click delete. Click done. And now archived, I have zero campaigns. So that's one of the new features because that was a question that we got a lot is, I really don't wanna see it anymore. I did it to test, it's completely useless. Don't want it on my, on my dashboard so it's creating that noise. So now from archived, you are able to delete. If we go back into all campaigns, again, you can see this is all of your campaigns across all four buckets. If you wanna see what you're actively running, you simply click on running. And that's going to show you your campaigns that you have running. A holiday campaign, join the blue recruiting campaign, buy or warm prospect, and new lead. So in my test account, that is the, that, those are the four campaigns that I have running. And again, you can see this is much more user friendly than it was previous because you can see the next three emails that will be going out. You can go in to preview the entire campaign if you choose to or you can launch it to see the entire campaign and what's gonna be coming down the, the pipe here to communicate with your sphere of influence. It's also gonna tell you quickly right here how many people you have signed up for that campaign and if anybody has unsubscribed from it. And obviously it's an NA for me because this is just a test account, but what your open rate is. So if you send it to 100 people, 70 people opened it, obviously you're gonna have a 70% open rate. So really quick, snapshot of what your campaign is and uh, the success that that campaign is having. We still have that two-step process in order to set up your campaign. So that's this bucket right here is a waiting setup. Once you click add from library, you find the campaign you want to add, it goes to your awaiting setup. Once you go into your awaiting setup and you want to click on that campaign, it takes you through a little bit of a wizard in order to choose the people that you want to send that campaign to. And then once you do that and click run campaign, that's when it moves it from that awaiting setup bucket over to your running bucket. You also always have the option to archive while you're in that campaign as well. Maybe it's a campaign you were testing, wasn't having a great open rate and you just kind of want to archive it for now and, and pay attention to it at a later date, you can archive it right from there as well. But now you can see my three awaiting setup campaigns went down to two and my running campaigns went from four to five. So it's moving it through the pipeline of the life of that campaign. And again, you just click add from library, let those campaigns load, which this functionality here, because there is so much content, does take just a moment to load. And then once it loads and you choose the one that you want, and you can preview it and see which emails are available there. You can click Add to Campaigns, click Close, and that is going to go to a waiting setup, which because I already had it in there, or let me do a, just a quick refresh, and it should reload for us. And now our two awaiting setup went to three because I pulled it in from our library. Now, if I want to preview it, I can click preview from here. It's going to run through all of the emails that will go through. And some of this has to be, um, you can see that some of the dates are older because we just keep adding to these. So as long as you have your clientele set up on this drip campaign, as we add more content to it on the broker level, they're going to continue to receive that information. Um, as long as you keep them on that campaign. Obviously, you can click through to preview any of the emails that you want to, and once you're done with your preview, you can click close. But again, this is our brand new dashboard. It does tell you really quickly, open rate, unsubscribes, and people. In a waiting setup, these are gonna be zero because you haven't set that campaign up. You wanna make sure it falls into the running bucket because that campaign is uh, actively running. Now, again, depending on how many people you have signed up on that campaign, that's what's going to change your numbers under your people, your open rate, and your unsubscribes. So that is the new campaign. Now, if you head over to the support page, there is a fantastic article, and I'm actually going to go ahead and copy that and throw that in the chat box for anybody that might want to 
copy and paste that over there. It's in the chat box now if you'd like. But you can launch into just support.moxyworks.com. And if you just search for Engage Campaign, this amazing article will come up. It kind of walks you through exactly what every single option is on the new dashboard in um, the new Engage Campaign dashboard. And you can see it really walks you through everything, including the how to. So this is an amazing article, which I highly recommend if you're jumping into campaigns and you want to learn more about the new dashboard, head over to that support page and load that content. Um, as you can see, it walks you through it uh, step by step. So it's amazing content there. So again, we just launched into our Moxie Engage. You're going to launch right into your agent mode unless you're a manager on the call, then you can toggle back and forth as the managers have been trained to do before. And then we really just jumped right into our campaigns and viewed our brand new dashboard here. So again, you can see our load times faster. Um, our snapshots are right here. You no longer have to click into the campaign to see it. It quickly will launch into your next three emails that go out and then allow you to load more as well. Again, you have all of your buckets here. You land on all campaigns, so you'll see every one that you've added from the library. And then it'll break it out into whether you're awaiting setup, running, maybe you've paused the campaign, or if you've archived it. And again, that new feature out of archive does allow us now to delete campaigns. You're not deleting it from the library. You can always pull that campaign back in, but perhaps you've pulled a campaign in before and edited it and changed it and then you weren't happy with it. You now, instead of just archiving it, you are able to completely delete that out of the system. So let me swap over here and see if I had any questions come in the chat. And I don't see any. Let me see if anybody's trying to unmute. Doesn't look like it. So easy topic, but again, as Moxie takes our feedback from our agents, they take feedback from other brokerages, they really are trying to make these products for ease of use for all involved. So if you have an idea, if there's some functionality that just makes you kind of like grit your teeth and say this should be easier, feel free to reach out. Uh, Moxie does product runs every quarter, so you never know. They may take um, your idea and put it into place just like they did with this new dashboard. So let us know your feedback. I appreciate your time this Monday morning. As always, you can um, head to schmidtvideoclassroom.com and our Moxie Monday playlist and see all of these great Moxie Mondays that are, rec are recorded. Uh, Angela had a great question. She asked where sh can she create her own campaign? So for right now, Angela, the functionality to create from scratch your own campaign is not available. Moxie is telling us that hopefully by Q2, Q3, they'll have that available. But for right now, what you would want to do is add from the library a campaign and then you can fully edit those emails from there. So can't quite start from scratch yet. Um, if it's a campaign that you really want to see built out and you need help with that, reach out and let us know. Uh, the, between the marketing group, myself, uh, we do have the ability to create campaigns on the broker level, so we can absolutely do that. But you are able to add one from the library and then edit it. You can edit the name, you can edit the frequency, you can edit the emails that are included in that campaign. We just don't have the functionality yet to start from scratch. Uh, Lori asked if each campaign is personalized with the client's name. So essentially, yes, Lori, and let me show you that real quick here on my emails. Um, instead of pulling in a campaign, I'll just show you an example here. So when you're in the email, anytime you see these uh, fun little brackets, that is going to be a field that gets pulled in from the person's contact card from your My People. So as long as you have contact first name, it's going to pull in their name. If for some reason, maybe it was an internet lead and maybe you only have an email address and you're not sure of the first name, this right here will tell you that it'll default to there. So it'll either say, hi, Lori, here are three home maintenance, blah, blah, blah. Or if the contact card doesn't have a first name, it'll say, hi there, here are three home maintenance tips. So anytime you see those brackets, it is filling, it's filling in from the contact card. Or when it says agent, this is pulling in from your agent account on Moxie. So it's gonna pull in your name, your title, your whatever you have on there. So yes, it will autofill and customize for your contacts names.
Great question. Perfect, and I don't see any other questions. So while we give that just a second, I'll just reiterate the, there is a great article about this new campaign. I pasted it in the chat, but again, always head to support.moxieworks.com. They have great content. They have you, way they walk you through step by step. Sometimes they have a PDF you can download. Sometimes there's a video. Sometimes there's just this amazing color coded and numbered dashboard information that really explains it out. And again, schmidtvideoclassroom.com. We record every single Moxie Monday and you're always able to go back and see those sessions. So thank you guys so much for your time today. I truly appreciate it. This re-recording uh, will go up in Schmidt Video Classroom just in the next hour or so. So if you're looking to uh, recap that, head there and check it out. So thanks everybody. Hope you have a great rest of your week and happy March. Bye. Thanks, Sharon.